gentlemen, boys, and girls, Captain Boomerang here for Let's Play Jack and Daxter, the Glitch-Tacular Special. In this segment of Jack and Daxter, we are going to be tackling some of the coolest glitches that we have to offer up through Rock Village. So, the first glitch that I have for you guys today to view on your viewing screens of magic are... is... what am I talking about? Well, actually, no, no, are. That's the correct grammar for that. Anyway, we are going to be swimming as fast as we can out to that dock there so that way we can beat the lurker shark in the face with our feet it makes a lot more sense when you do it alright so what you want to do is you want to roll jump off of the roof and then use the quick swim technique to get to the dock before the shark kills you so let's do it looking good and book it, book it, book it, book it, book it. Come on, he's got it. Come on, he's got it. He's got it. Go, 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 Yes! We did it! Ha! Now we're starting things off nice and awesome. Sorry for screaming in your ear. I apologize. Now, let's go into the water. Just come right here. Right there. Yes. Oh, yeah, he's coming. Now, he's got him right there. You cannot get killed. He's stuck. So, this allows us to do this. Zoom in nice and pretty. Yes! You can beat the lurker shark repeatedly in the face, only using uh, the circle button, which is kick attack, spin kick. Now, you don't want to punch him or he'll kill you, because you'll lunge yourself forward, but you can just keep doing this however much you want. So, you know, if the lurker shark's got you on a bad day, you're swimming out, you're always sick of the lurker shark telling you where you can and cannot go, just bring him out to Misty Island and beat him in the face. Always makes me feel a little bit better. Having a bad day, beat the lurker shark in the face. You failed your math test, beat the lurker shark in the face. You know, your boss is treating you like crap, beat the lurker shark in the face. It's really a lot of fun. A lot of stress relief, just the noises that I mean, I know he doesn't feel any pain, but it's like a punching bag, you know? It's just so much fun. I bet you're wondering how long I'm going to do this, but I'm going to keep doing this for a long time, because I like it. I love it. It's so much fun. But yeah, the Glitch-Tacular Special, this is what it is. I'm just going to show really weird, fun things that you can do in Jack and Daxter up through Rock Village. There might be a part two to this special uh, when I complete in Rock Village and go onwards in the LP. But, um, that's all that I have to offer for now, so I'm just going to show you what I know. Alright, I'm done with you. Kill me. There we go. Alright, so that was a nice little introduction, wouldn't you say so? Now, our next glitch that we're going to be doing requires me to be at Rock Village, wouldn't you know it? I'm only going to be doing some two other glitches. I mean, they're... Only, it's only two glitches, but they're rather big glitches, so they're going to take some time to execute. I'm going to tell you how to execute them, so you can execute them at home and play along. And we're going to have a lot of fun with this. So I'm going to cut, and I'll see you guys at Rock Village, where we can perform our next glitch. Welcome back, everybody. Here we are at Rock Village, and the next glitch we're going to be tackling takes place in the Precursor Basin. Now... A few of you are wondering, well, what glitch are we going to do with the Precursor Basin? Some of you already know exactly what glitch I'm going to be doing in the Precursor Basin. But because this is such a well-known and awesome glitch, I figured it was a must-do for the LP. So, I practiced it up just for you, and let's see if we can't pull it off. So, how to do this glitch. Now, the glitch itself is pretty simple to explain. You want to get into the Precursor Basin without the use of the zoomer. You want to walk in on foot. Now, how do we do this? It's pretty easy pretty easy. Now, what you want to do is roll. You'll roll up. Oh, God. Okay. So, you want to get up onto that little ledge there. So, I'm going to keep trying. What you want to do is you want to roll, jump, jump, and they didn't make it. Just be a little bit persistent, because these glitches are kind of hard to execute. Oh, got so close. But as long as you're persistent, it shouldn't be too bad. Ugh. Alright, so, let's uh, do this, and I didn't jump at the right time, because you know if you roll and you jump immediately after you do it, then you will jump higher, so for those of you that didn't know that. Oh, come on, you can give me that game. Uh, I'm just going to probably cut till I get up there. 
Oh, okay. I got up there now, so that's unnecessary. All right. So once you get up there, uh, let's. Uh, what you want to do is you want to scale this rock here, and it's pretty difficult, but with the right attitude, you can achieve anything. Oh, come on. You know you want to get up there, Jack. Come on. Get on up. Oh, God. You can do this. Okay, this might require a cut, because this is so ridiculously tedious, but I'll explain what you should be doing to the best of my ability. You want to push up against the rock and do a squatting high jump. So just keep doing that, and eventually you will make it. That's about all I got to say on that one. It really is just a matter of luck and skill combined. Oh, you can see he's kind of trying to grab onto something up there. Of course, this is going to be difficult to pull off because the designers don't want you to get in. Oh, come on, Jack. You got more grasp than that. Oh, because the designers didn't want you to get in there on foot. So, I'm going to cut until I get up there because it's taking a long time. Ugh. Oh, okay. All right. I'm up. I'm up. Jack did it. Well, I did it. You know, it was a team effort. All right. Let's get up here now. All right. So, all right. Let's see if I can't remember what to do from here now. I think you just jump up and yep, there's an invisible platform there. Oh god. Okay. Squat, jump. No wait, just Alright, alright. You wanna play it like that, huh? Yeah. Alright, so oh, oh okay, we're good. So you wanna squat jump and there's an invisible platform. You might not be able to see it, but you'll get onto it eventually. So once you get up onto this ledge, now it gets a little bit easier. You want to squeeze around that. And now you are in the Precursor Basin on foot. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I did it. No, thank you. You're too kind. Yes, that's that's me for you. Captain Boomerang. Busting glitches for you. For your entertainment. So yeah, that's basically the gist of this. As you can see, this is my practice file for the LP, so... Uh, I don't really have, I haven't really done this area yet, but uh, that's because it's a practice file. Now, when you're swimming in this area, this isn't normal water. He kind of glitches out when he's in the water, and it's kind of funny to look at because he's kind of spazzing out. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny. Alright, now, what you can do is you can dive. Huh, that's weird. You should be able to, yeah, you, well, that's weird. You can dive through the platforms, and that's, uh, that's a neat thing you can because uh, they're just kind of rendered images. They're, they're not solids, which is why you're able to do that. For those of you that know a lot about game design and all of that. So yeah. Uh, there's a lot of things you can do. Extension glitches. You can do certain power cells. Like, for example, you can herd the lightning bulls. Uh, I doubt you can catch one of those big lurker fools over there. but. Oh, uh, he went right over the hole. But you can herd the lurker. Uh, you can hold. Get your words together, Sonny Boy. You can herd the lightning bulls on foot if you would like. You can also um, do the ring challenge. I think I've actually completed the purple ring challenge on foot, and that's something fun to do. I'm not going to do it now because it wastes a lot of time, and we're running up on 11 minutes now, but plus cut. But you can get all the scout flies, you can basically do whatever. Have a picnic, maybe, I don't, you know, whatever the kids do. Oh, that was fun. Oh, I just I scared him away from it. Oh, well. But, uh, yeah, that's basically it for the Precursor Basin. You're here on foot. I don't want to spoil the fun for you, so I say you just check it out for yourself. Uh, you can do you can do the zoomer time trial and get the slowest time ever if you want. I don't know why you'd want to do it, but it's kind of cool. Uh, these always stay away from you, which is kind of weird. They won't ever punch you in the face. Uh, yeah, not much to say about this. It's really something you should explore and experience for yourself. There's so many different things you could probably try to do. I don't think I could show them all for you, but yeah, that's basically the gist of it. You can see you can walk through these because, you know, they're not, you're not supposed to be walking on them. They're for gliding over. Uh, yeah. I wonder if you can do the uh, plant glitch. That's something, I, I mean, the plant mission, not the plant.
playing glitch. So much glitch talk. Uh, that's something you can do on the zoomer. So I wonder if this will just heal you and it won't. Yeah. It's weird. Oh no, they're touching me. Stop it. Oh well. Alright, that was a that was a fun little glitch. So yeah, explore it for yourself. Uh, have fun with that one, because I can't possibly show everything you could do. So, we're done with that. Now it's time to go to the grand finale glitch. The Mac Daddy of them glitches. So, I'm going to cut, and I will meet you at the starting point. Let me get out of here. i got to murder myself really quickly. Hey, Jack! Can I uh, have your insect collection? I just found out that Jack has an insect collection. That's noteworthy. Alright, party people. We are here for the final glitch. Are you guys ready for the best glitch I have to show? Credit goes to this YouTuber. I will put his name up on the screen for showing me this. It was an incredible glitch. I had to try it for myself. I figured it out, and now I'm going to show it to you. I've only seen this done by this one guy, and I'm going to do it for you today and it's going to be awesome so there's gonna be a lot of cuts because this is very finicky it's hard to do and you know just a little bit fewer discretion discretion advised you know uh, I advise you to try the other glitches this one if you value your sanity I don't suggest you do this one because you will probably lose that sanity you'll probably scream a lot there's probably gonna be things that are gonna break you might hit your wife I don't even know but uh, don't hit your wives people that's that's not cool. It's not cool to hit me. But, this glitch right here, this is, man, oh man. I'm not even going to tell you what we're going to do. I'm just going to go for it, all right? Now, I will tell you what we're going to do as we do it. So, what you want to do is, you see this alcove right there? You're going to want to swim there. You're going to have to use your swift swim. You know what? Just follow my lead, all right? Wait, why am I telling you how to do this? You shouldn't be doing this. Don't do this. You'll lose your mind. I'm doing you a favor, okay? Just don't. Trust. Okay. Oh, no, oh, nope. Okay, make sure the fish isn't following you. Now, come around this rock. Now, stay as close to the rock as possible. Now, just keep booking it. No! Oh! Did you guys see that? I just landed right on the rock from the cliff. That's pretty amazing stuff. Now, I messed up last minute. I guess I wasn't, I was turning a little bit too much, but yeah, same general thing. Okay, got a little bit scared. All right. Book it, book it, book it, book it, book it. Swim, Jack! Swim for your life! It's okay, Jack. You got this. You got this. Show the people, Jack. You can do this. Yes. Okay. We are now at phase two. Welcome to Behind Rock Village. Behind the game world. Feel free to explore if you want, if you got this far. This is actually the easy part. This part won't destroy your sanity. This part was actually easy. Now, if you are weak of heart, I don't suggest doing the lurker shark thing, because you may faint. Again, I'm not responsible for you fainting, because... The lurker shark was on your tail, and you were weak of heart, and you just couldn't take it, and you started hyperventilating, and you just... That didn't happen to me. Anyway, what we're going to be doing is climbing these rocks around the outside here. Now, this is where things get real. This is what separates the boys from the men, or uh, the, the girls from the women. I'm not sexist. Now, let's go over here. Wow, that was really well pulled off. All right, that's... If, if by any chance, if you can't see, I'll even mess it up. Stare at this piece of grass, and that should put you at center. So, now, this is where things get really real right here, this jump. Now, you want to jump right around there. Alright, so, yeah, that was, uh, that was difficult. Okay, now, what I did there, now this is tricky, and you need to take note of this, if you're doing this because you're not listening to me, which, what mo which is what most people do. When you land, you're going to start sliding around like 
crazy, and you're not, it's going to be very hard to find a stable point. So what you have to do is mash the triangle button repeatedly to get your goggles to come up. That will make you stand up automatically. You have one jump, and you want to make it to that ledge. There. What I'm doing is magic right now. You're witnessing magic, okay? So, round of applause, please. Now, this is where it gets kind of ridiculous. Jump up here. Okay. Now jump up. Jump up there. Okay. Now let's see if I can't adjust the camera. No, I can't. Now you'll notice that it's glowing red. Now if you're so, if you're one smart cookie, you might be able to figure out what I'm trying to do. Now take note. I have 36 power cells. You need 45 to move the boulder to fight Claw. Now just take note of that. All right. And there we go, folks. First try. Well, second, technically, but who's counting? Now, as you can see, I am past the boulder. It is still on fire, and it is still at the bottom of the steps. That's, that's impressive. Come on, you got to give it up. I'm being an ass, aren't I? All right. Now, see that levitation? that You normally would have to have 45 power cells to move this boulder, but I only have 36. I come up nine short, for those of you bad at math. So, what this means is I can basically break the game and fight Claw early. What it also means, if you've been watching my LP, is I can fight Claw without having to go through that nonsense again. Now, if you're still with me because, you know, you saw the glitch, you're like, wow, that's really cool, and then you just axed out, but if you're still with me, which I hope you are, you get to hear my outro, which is pretty nice. You get to see Claw scratch his pits and throw rocks and whatever Claw does. He's such a crazy guy. Now, if you're still soaking this up with me, because I hope you are, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this was the last and final glitch. I hope you really enjoyed the glitches I had to show. Uh, it was great having you guys on here. I hope you try all of them at home, except maybe that last one, because I made that look way easier than it actually is, and I didn't do a great job explaining it. So, you know, if you're adventurous, hey, go ahead, try it out. Don't listen to me. I warned you, though. I warned you. But, hey, you know, I, it's all about trying it. It's a lot of fun to try it out, this kind of stuff. I may do a follow-up once I get farther in my LP. I suggest you watch my LP. It's not that bad if you like the way I talk, if you like the way I explain things, if, you know anything like that, just, hey, go check me out. Captain Boomerang, let's play Jack and Daxter. I'm, I'm relatively new, but, hey, I'm a, I'm a cool guy, if I don't say so myself. Now, if you like glitches, if you like seeing glitches, if you just love the way glitches are, you know, and you, you really like seeing them busted and seeing all this cool stuff and underworld crap, uh, I suggest you check out Eggbusters. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I'd like to be. Give me a call, Austin. But, uh... <laughs> Uh, they do a bunch of glitches, Nintendo-related glitches, and they're all really fun. That's where I got the inspiration to do this show from, so kudos to them and their channel. I think they do great work. You should probably check them out if you like this kind of stuff. Uh, you know, credit goes to all the great people that I got to get these ideas for from off of YouTube. You can find all of these on YouTube. I'm not the only person to have done them. I don't claim to be. I just want to show you guys. The more people we can show these, the better, because it's just so much fun. Uh, I'm glad that you guys have stayed with me this long. If you're still listening to me talk to myself, and if you kept staying, I might even show some funny blooper gag reels of me talking to myself and transition and all the stupid stuff that I say, if I can find anything. So, that said, I'm Captain Boomerang. Comment, rate, subscribe, the usual YouTube BS, and I'll catch you on the next part of Let's Play Jack and Daxter. Now, if you still follow my Let's Play, don't fret. You'll still see the cutscene. I'm not a fan of anybody missing content. You'll, see the, you'll still see the cutscene of the boulder being moved. It'll just be kind of separate. So, you know, keep that in mind. And in the next part of Let's Play Jack and Extra, we're going to be fighting Claw and moving through the rock passage or the passage of rocks. Or, no, this is the mountain pass. So, a lot of fun next part. Hope to see you guys there. Thank you. Bye. As I stared at the sun, wondering about what life is, the complexities of it, where I would go, what my destiny was, I had a realization, an epiphany, if you will. I am a fan of Secret Rivers.